application of derivative tangent line find the equation of tangent line to the curve y equals to 1 over x square at x equals to minus 2 so this is the solution for the second problem which we took up uh, in the first set of three now here when you're trying to find equation of a tangent line you basically need two things one you need slope at that point and the point itself so what we need here is slope of tangent line let's say that is m this is what we need and we need to know the point now as far as point is concerned we are already given that x value of the point is minus 2 now once we know the point x value we can find the y value from the curve itself the curve is y equals to 1 over x square so if I place x as minus 2 I can get the y value right so which will be 1 over minus 2 whole square which is 1 over 4 and therefore I can say my point let's say we call it point P is minus 2 and minus and plus 1 over 4 so that is the point but still to find the tangent line we need to find what the slope is now how do you find slope that is where application of derivatives come into picture so we have a question which says y equals to 1 over x square is the curve and we need to find derivative of this once we find derivative we know slope in general at any point x right now to find slope at a particular point we can always substitute the value of x given to us so we'll find slope now slope I can write here dy dx or y dash both means the same thing they are different nomenclatures so y dash is equals to derivative of this now if you have to find derivative of this it's a good way that you write or rewrite your equation in the power form that is let's write this as x to the power of minus 2 now it becomes easier now it we can apply power rule I hope you remember the power rule right power rule is if I give you a function y equals to a times x to the power of n then y dash is equals to a times n times x to the power of n minus 1 so we'll apply power rule and get the derivative of this function so y dash is equals to now minus 2 x to the power of minus 2 minus 1 which is minus 3 so that is the answer now we can re revert back to the standard way which is minus 2 over x cubed you see that so that is the derivative of our function y equals to 1 over x square at any point right what are we interested in finding slope at x equals to minus 2 so we write it like this y dash that is derivative at x equals to minus 2 is equals to we'll substitute minus 2 for x minus 2 divided by minus 2 cubed correct so minus 2 cube is minus 8 so we have minus 2 divided by minus 8 and that gives us a slope which is 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 is our slope so now we know that the slope of the line is 1 over 4 at x equals to minus 2 which is a point minus 2 1 over 4 correct now we can find equation of tangent line correct so let's find equation of tangent line So equation of tangent line where we calculated that slope m is equals to 1 over 4 and the point p is minus 2 1 over 4. So the equation is we can start with y equals to mx plus b and find what b is. So we have y equals to mx plus b y is 1 over 4 slope is 1 over 4 also x is minus 2 and b so from here we can find what b is so b is equals to 1 over 4 and this is 1 over 4 times minus 2 is minus half which comes on this side as plus half right so that is we can take 4 common so it becomes 3 over 4 2 over 4 3 over 4 is the b value right so therefore you get the equation of the line as y equals to 1 over 4x plus 3 over 4 so that becomes the equation of your line 
where the slope is so so this is so we get the equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals to 1 over x square at x equals to minus 2 you can always rewrite this in standard form that is if I multiply them by 4 I get 4y equals to x plus 3 and then we can rearrange this and write this as x minus 4y plus 3 equals to 0 right so that is our answer so we can write down our answer as equation of tangent line to the curve y equals to 1 over x square at x equals to minus 2 is this correct so have a good look at it now let's review the solution now it is a very basic solution and it is very important since most of the questions will involve finding equation of tangent line at a given point on the curve so strategy here is given a function find its derivative and in the derivative plug in the point so that you know the slope at that instance of time at that particular point once you know the slope and the point then you find equation of your line so these are the three steps to be followed all the time correct so now let's move on to the third and final question of our first set I hope you are understanding the concept of tangent line and how we are applying derivatives to solve our questions thank you